Welcome to my home. I hope you are sitting as comfortably as I am. So if there's one word that springs to mind when I think about Portuguese wines, it is difference. And I think that's down to Portugal's embarrassment of riches over 250 different grape varieties and also very varied terroir from the Atlantic coast through to the mountainous interior, the rolling plains in the south and then the far-flung islands of Madeira and the Azores. And blending, a great Portuguese skill, they are the masters of blending, comes into it as well because then producers have a huge number of variables to play with. But there's something else which really excites me at the moment and that is a, the blend between traditional and modern winemaking and the wine that I've chosen to share with you really encapsulates this. Um, so it is Italia wine and I point to exhibit A you'll see Italia, it is an amphora, a very sizeable amphora in which the wines are fermented. Now the tradition of Italia wines goes back 2,000 years in Alentejo um, but it was been done in a very small way in homes, in local tabernas in the last 50 years but it's now enjoying a really exciting revival. So let me tell you first a little bit about the Alentejo region. So it's in the south of Portugal, south of Lisbon. It's a huge, sprawling, expansive uh, region. In fact, at this time, I'm dreaming about the Alentejo with its big skies um, and its sense of space. Uh, it's a rolling landscape with uh, cork trees dotted around. You can see I have uh, my cork uh, table here, as well as a uh, cork that goes into, into the bottle, of course. Also home oaks, which feed the black pigs and produce the celebrated hams. And when I crisscross around the eight sub-regions that this large region has, invariably I will come across a shepherd herding um, the flock of sheep across the road. And these sheep produce some of the most amazing cheeses from Portugal, uh, Serpa and Evora cheeses. And take those salty cheeses and the sunny uh, climate that you have in Alentejo, it has over 3,000 hours of sunshine a year, then you want a thirst quenching wine. And Tally wines are really the perfect wine for that context. And let me explain why. So um, you make the wine, you ferment it in amphora, and you leave it on the skins in amphora until at least St. Martin's Day, which is the 11th of November. So they don't stay in amphora for very long. Um, you can't do a lot of punching down and extraction in the amphora. So the re end result is a very light and very fresh style of wine. And then there's another factor, which is the grape varieties. So this is a traditional style of winemaking um, and a traditional style of winemaking that invariably draws on old grape varieties, traditional grape varieties, some which have been overlooked, including um, a couple of the grapes that are in this blend. It's a blend of Moretto and Tinta Grossa. Tinta Grossa, there are only five hectares in the world, and also Trincadera, which is a little bit more well known across Portugal. And uh, these grape varieties are part of the freshness that, that you find in this wine. It's got really lovely um, red fruits for me, uh, distinctive raspberry, a fragrance of raspberry, raspberry in the palate, also some juicy plum, a little bit tart plum, which I really like about it because that's part of the freshness and thirst quenching quality of the wine. And then Trincadera brings its classic to me, a sort of tobacco, slightly vegetal note, which is really enjoyable and part of the lift and freshness uh, and enticing character of this wine. Now the terroir that uh, this wine comes from is another aspect of the freshness. This wine comes from the sub-region of Vidigera and um, op in opposite to what you might think, um, although it's uh, the south, one of the southernmost uh, sub-regions of Alentejo, it actually has some very significant cooling influences because you have the Serra de Mendro, which is a range of hills rising to 420 metres, which trap uh, the cold Atlantic humid air which stays over the vineyards 
um, overnight so the temperatures really drop and they help maintain freshness in the, in, in the wines which you really see in this wine in particular. It's just 11.5% alcohol, it's really light and fresh and, um, and it's mineral sweet as well. It's coming from granite and schist soils. Um, schist retains water really beautifully and just meters it up to the grapes when they need it. So there's a lovely succulence and juiciness to this and that lovely mineral sluice acidity. So perfect for a plate of, 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 of ham and uh, the cheese, the serpa or ever a cheese from Alentejo. So definitely worth seeking out Italia wines. Um, and this wine from Herdad Dorosim, um, you I think will most certainly enjoy.